Well, for this Wild Watch, we're going to be concentrating on something that we normally absolutely take for granted, and that's the hides. Fantastic set of hides here at Slimbridge, but of course they've been shut over the last few months as indoor spaces, but they're open again. A few changes, there'll be a limit on the number of people in a hide at any one time. We'll be asking you to wear face masks and the windows may often be open as well. So leave the windows as you find them to avoid any excessive touching. But thank goodness they are open now and there's some really fantastic birds for us to see from them. Now, for, for most of you out there, I'm sure you're very familiar with hides, especially the hides here at Slimbridge. But for some, they can be quite scary places and we really want to get away from that. There's no hard and fast rules. You know, don't be too loud, but you can talk in a normal voice. You can move around nice and steadily. And if you want to know a little bit more about what's on show from the hides, do ask. In many of the hides now, we will have our guides in hides who are there to help you. They may have a telescope you can use, but certainly ask them any questions you have. And don't be intimidated by other bird watchers. They're often itching to tell you what they've seen, what's out there in front of them that they're finding really exciting. So it's a good tip. Just ask. Some of the birds to watch out for at the moment, certainly the avocets, really good here just now, especially here at the South Lake. On the rushy, you get some lovely close views and from the estuary tower as well. Look out for other waders. Little ring plovers are breeding and really active just now. Oyster catchers, there's a pair right here on the roof of this hide and several other pairs scattered around as well. You can also use the hides to get close to some of the commoner birds that we take for granted, but you can use them to really get to see things like reed warblers, sedge warblers, reed buntings. They're all breeding in front of, just a few metres away from several of the hides here at Slimbridge. So don't rush through, take a little bit of time and just search to see what you can find. There's lots out there to look for. The other thing you can do from the hides is to really watch those birds, watch all the wildlife out there. The longer you do that for, the more different behaviours you will see, encounters between birds, mating behaviours, displays, incubating birds. The hides are the best place for doing that because you're hidden and they're just getting on with their normal life. So watch out for behaviour as well. Migration, birds passing over, especially from the estuary tower and maybe from the Zeiss hide as well. Lots to look out for there. For up to minute information and to make the most of your visit to Slimbridge, don't forget to follow us on Twitter. We update that several times a day and also to visit our website, a summary there of, uh, of what we're seeing for that particular day. So you know where to go and you know what to look for.